hey everyone welcome back before we just end the theoretical sessions of this section let's cover the last topic which is known as elbow method we have seen in k means clustering that that the value of k the parameter k is one of the most deciding factor on uh, uh the number of clusters that we need and there might get a lot of problems some of the times when we don't eventually say the exact k value so there is a method known as elbow method which helps us to get uh, the value of the proper value of k but before that let's look into what might happen if we uh, get a different k value if we try to build a model with a different k value so uh, we have this model okay we have this uh, model where we have for k equals to 2 if you uh, for this data set if uh, we train a model a k means clustering model with the value of k equals to 2 you can see that we can have two clusters okay that is one cluster over here and the other cluster uh, and one cluster over here but if you look into the data as right now we are having a two dimensional data so it's quite easy to break it out to say that uh, k equals to 2 is not a good value okay so we will be having k equal to 3 and in that case right so for k equals to 3 we are getting a proper value we are getting three clusters for k equals to 2 you can see from the data itself from the scatter plot over here this plot we can actually say out that uh, k equals to 2 is will not be a good fit for this we will be needing k equal to 3 but in real life scenario as you see k means clustering is not basically only about two dimensional features but also three uh, more than multi dimensional features when you have multi dimensional features then uh, you cannot actually visualize them in a 2d plane so in that scenario uh, we have this elbow method and even for two dimensional also you can use this elbow method when your data is very much concise so what exactly is this elbow method we have been talking about it uh from a long time now let's uh, actually see into what we mean by the elbow method the elbow method it's uh like one of the most popular uh ways to find the optimal value okay that is the optimal value to find out the, the number of clusters okay so this method uses the concept of wcs ss value so uh the full form of wcss is within cluster sum of squares so which defines the total variation within a cluster okay so what we do is we calculate the wcss for each and every k value for a range okay let's say a range of 5 to 15 clusters okay and for each a value of k we try to find out the wcss value okay which is nothing but the total variation within the clusters okay if you eventually look into the formula itself so we have wcss uh, where and summation of uh, inside summation of again distance d stands for the data point and c stands for the cluster okay so when we are inside of this one okay this summation you can see that uh, the c value the c value is 1 okay the c value is 1 and we get something like this if we break it out wcss okay uh, if we break it out so it will be more like okay uh for a d value d i in c let's uh, write d i only for now d i okay that will be in just remember it will be in cluster 1 okay from cluster 1 we get we have to find out the distance of d i that is all the data points in cluster 1 similarly we will move into the second cluster if you have one more uh, two clusters so cluster 2 and then we will find out distance that is di all the data points inside of cluster 2 and square similarly it will move on to the end of it so basically we are finding out the variation uh, okay we are trying uh, trying to find uh, find out the variation within a cluster so this point over there distance dici it is the sum of the square of the distance between each point and its centroid okay within a 
specific cluster and the same for the other two terms. So that's about WCSS. Let's look into uh, how we can actually, the, what's the steps behind it. So what we do is, as I've told you, for each and every value of K, we, uh, we execute the K-means clustering, okay, for a specific range, okay, maybe K value from uh, K 1 to 30, okay, and for each value of K, k equal to 1 k equal to 3 k equal to uh, till uh, we have k equal to 30 for each value of k we find out the wcss value and then we plot out a cu cu uh, curve between the calculated wcss value okay these are the wcss value and the number of clusters okay and how to find out uh, which uh, the which point we should be taking out so the sharp point of bend or a point of the plot which looks like an arm that's the reason why this is known as the elbow method the joint from which uh, we have a linear uh, downscale okay in this scenario we can take the value okay in this graph we can take the value of five or six this point okay because from here the curve submerges okay then this point is considered as the best fit of the case Okay. That's the sole reason why it's known, uh, named as an elbow method because this line over here is quite similar to our elbow, okay, right? And we have to actually take this value, that is the actual k value, to get out the proper uh, number of clusters. So that's it for our elbow method. We have known everything that we should be uh, knowing about clustering and k means clustering algorithm. Let's implement everything that we have learned in our lab sessions.